Hey guys, Glenn Calloway from the basement. I thought I would do a bit of a finished room tour here. I was waiting for my speakers to show up, but they just never seem to get here. So I believe one day next week, but we'll wait and see. Anyway, I'm at the bottom of the stairs going to the basement. When you first get down, I set up a little station here for record cleaning, um, for putting my uh, CDs on a USB stick. I use that little laptop keyboard player which i'm promising to teach learn myself one day or teach myself grateful dead tapestry the various hats that i wear in my videos then behind that curtain is a bedroom so i set that up this is uh leading into my music room right here i used my two cd cabinets as a wall and on the back of them, I thought I would hang posters, just to add a bit of interest, rather than looking at a bare uh, cardboard wall or whatever you want to call it, press board. Um, but what's the low? My favorite Canadian band. There's a photo that my daughter took of the band when she was working with them. Uh, Lowest of the low poster from a show in Oshawa, Ontario. Kamasi Washington, the great jazz sax player. I saw Kamasi when the album The Epic came out and got that poster at the show. Bob Dylan mixing up the medicine. Buddy Guy. Saw Buddy Guy a few times. This poster is from when I saw him in Orlando, Florida a couple years ago with John Hyatt. Blackie and the Rodeo Kings, one of the great super groups in Canada. Saw this show at Massey Hall. And March 21st, 2012, with my cousin Paul. Rest in peace, Paul. Uh, a uh, faux poster of Jimi Hendrix at Newport. Devonshire Downs. There's a list of all the people that played. Not bad. Jack White. White Stripes, Elephant, promo, promo poster, Neil Young, Massey Hall. I saw this show. Diana Krall opened. This is when I got Neil's autograph. And uh, various little Beatles Christmas knickknacks. Photo of my dad in the World War II. There's Speak of the Devil. That's my cousin Paul there. Boy, we were like Siamese twins. My wife Lynn and I at the Grand Canyon, my beautiful daughters Andrea and Stephanie, my dog Peyton giving me a kiss after I finished my 210-kilometer uh, bike ride for, to raise money for cancer research, and of course, uh, Coronation Street tray. And down here, I just keep various junky stuff, uh, banjo picks and, and uh, record uh, um, sleeves, inserts, whatever. And then we walk into the room. I used my record cabinet for the other dividing wall and then put the curtains behind it. So I've got my yes uh, plaque or whatever you want to call it on there for a bit of color. On the top of here, I've got my Beatles stereo box set. Of course, a lava lamp. Everybody's got to have a lava lamp. My Led Zeppelin flyer from 1969 when I saw them at O'Keefe Center, November 2nd. Another lava lamp. And the Beatles mono box, the Grail. Uh, Sam, you'll be happy to see this. Appalachia. This is a little thing that Sam gave me uh, when we first met. So it was pretty cool. I love it. Have you hugged your banjo today? Really, have you? little Grateful Dead sticker, picture of two banjos I used to own that my daughter uh, photographed when she was just starting out her career, I don't know how many years ago, 20 years ago. Uh, another kind of Grateful Dead thing from Wake Up to Find Out. And then the records. All my Beatles stuff, the Let It Be box. A 
my Dylan on vinyl. Don't have a lot of Dylan vinyl compared to how many albums he has out. I did my box sets this way. I'll let you have a look at them. You should be able to read them from there. And my headphones. Just do a quick backup here. Make sure I'm not so get a full view. Of course, I knew I would do that. I was backing up, and I I knew I'd trip into something. New room, you know. You're still not used to where everything is. So that's it for the thing. Then we go over and do the CDs. I wonder if I can get back in this corner here to give you a fuller look. And of course the box sets, I arranged them all on top. Beatles, mono, stereo, and number ones with the Blu-ray. Uh, here's the smaller box sets, smaller in box size. Not necessarily in disc size. Jimi Hendrix, Humble Pie, King Crimson, Mike Nesmith, Pentangle, The Police, John Prine Anthology, Tom Waits, Radio Broadcasts, The Great Doc Watson, Yes, Complete Album Collection. Then my Zappa sets. I love these sets. Mother's 71, Roxy, Waka Wazoo, and the ones that came out this year are, um, of course, 50th anniversary editions of Overnight Sensation and Apostrophe. Uh, my Zappa Halloween, Zappa 73 box set. Uh, John Lennon, Imagine, and Plastic Ono Band. I am not going to buy the Mind Game set. The Complete Last Waltz, Motown, 59 to 71, a uh, souvenir from Festival Express in 1970, which I attended. Um, that They called that a rumper sticker. It was kind of like a cloth sticker that you stuck on the back of your pants for some reason. I don't know why. I guess they thought that was kind of fun. But uh, anyway, it's a great memento. Uh, Grateful Dead. Grateful Dead, Mini Cars, Pacific Northwest box set, which is absolutely gorgeous, and uh, the CDs I stuck on the shelf in alphabetical order just to get them up there because it's overwhelming to actually uh, put each letter in order, which I plan to do, but I just haven't gotten around to it yet. So all the H's are together, but they're not uh, organized. My Dylan Deluxe Editions, Dylan Complete Columbia Recordings, Dylan the Live 66 Recordings from the tour, 36 discs, I believe. My Jerry Funko, another Grateful Dead set. My SACDs, and then my Audio uh, Fidelity SACDs for the most part. More Dylan, Dylan Rolling Thunder Tour, Original Master Recordings, Little Feet, Waiting for Columbus box set, my Jethro Tull book uh, style series sets, Moody Blues and Search of the Lost Chord, Rolling Stones in Mono, David Bowie, Brilliant Adventures. Oh, tons and tons of stuff. Okay. And then we are going to head over here. Oh, there's my dog Peyton having a rest. That's the only part of the wall where I haven't covered it with anything yet. It's still showing the uh, the uh, insulation. Let 
Next, the Grateful Dead Tapestry. The original Bob Dylan ticket from 1965, Massey Hall. Love that. Love having that. What a great historic piece. I think I got the only one on the planet. Ticket stub from the Rolling Thunder Tour. My little Glennie doll that Larry and Molly gave me. My Jerry doll. Yellow Submarine Lava Lamp. And then we get into this, some uh, random stuff in all my books. Rykuter 45 that my friend from Germany, Irwin, gave me. Uh, Andrew Partridge's book, Complicated Game. Autographed. Beatles Hallmark Christmas set. John Lennon, Miles Davis, Funko Pops. Ringo Bobblehead from 1964. John Lennon Imagine Guitar that I bought from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Or Rock and Roll Hall of Fame from the uh, Blues, uh, House of Blues. My Zappa books. Right there. Love them all. Dylan books. Zappa Funko Pop. This random set of books there. That Elvis Costello book is autographed. To Glenn, Elvis Costello. Beatles books. Janis Joplin Funko Pop. Paul McCartney, the lyrics book. Leave it to Beaver, my favorite TV show of all time. The complete set. And I don't have a DVD player. The Monkees, Last Train to Clarksville, 45. And that's it for that wall. We move over here. Picture my daughter took of Lois of the Low. Live in concert. My buddy Steve, All the World's a Stage, when we went to Tulsa last year, he took this picture going up the stairs and uh, blew it up and sent it as a gift to myself and Randy Nelson, who also accompanied us. What a great trip that was. I'll always remember that. And I love that. Uh, he did a great job on that. Of course, my John Hartford, prized possession. Getting to meet your heroes is when they're nice is incredible. Tell you right bluegrass festival. This was the 11th. Now we're up to about 50. My cousin Paul, who I spoke about earlier in the video, he did this drawing for me, a bale of flack. It's all done with, uh, um, like ink or pencil or something, just dots. He dotted it all out until, until he, uh, filled it all in. Beautiful. Paul Ryan, 2007. Of course, my prized possession, my best friend, besides my wife and my dog, my beautiful Bishline classic banjo, Rob Bishline, Oklahoma, Tulsa. Poster from the Warfield Theater in San Francisco, Bela Fleck and the Flecktones, David Grisman. Okay, here's my autograph wall. Bale of Fleck, Victor Wooten and Future Man. Ry Cooter. That's not autograph. I wonder if I get Sam's son to autograph it or something. Picture I took of Earl Scruggs and then Earl's autograph, another prized possession. My King Crimson autograph and ticket to the show and um, pass. You know, I Neil Young autograph. From the poster I showed earlier. David Bromberg at the famous Elma Combo. And John Hyatt. Then, what else do I have? I think that's about it. My, oh, my, I guess we should do... Well, my TV set's sitting there. Uh, the new Billy Strings album. Fantastic. Going to see Billy this weekend. Two shows... My name CD player, my moon amp, 
kind of like my uh, heavy rotation CD pile, and then my heavy rotation vinyl, my beautiful Riga P3 turntable, which I love. And uh, that is it. Hope you enjoyed the tour. Pretty good to uh, just, I could probably tear this room down in five minutes. It's just uh, the drywall is all just kind of put up there with Gorilla Tape. And nothing is nailed to the wall. Um, the curtains all can come down. They're hanging from the rafters with a little clip. They could come down in 30 seconds. Uh, this curtain here behind the couch separates the, um, this room from the bedroom that I, I created. And um, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the tour. Take care.